Hey, aloha and welcome to Beach Walks with Rocks. Today is show number 192 and you can find us at beachwalks.tv. So I thought I'd talk about something today that I really suspect almost everyone listening, at least all the grown-ups, probably a lot of the kids too, have had an experience with, and that is being in a situation where I'm waiting for somebody else to make a move, and it's frustrating because the person is saying they really want to make the, you know, this move to get something going together with us. But at the same time, um, you know, we kind of, the calls are getting missed and canceled and rescheduled and, come here Lex. And things of that sort. And it's just a great exercise to really, you know, practice one of my favorite things, which is that, uh, you know, not practicing something actually, which is making up stories, pretending they're true, having feelings about them, and then acting on those feelings. So. In this case, I don't know what's going on on the other side, and that's really the good news, not the bad news. Uh, my number two thinks that she needs to know everything that's going on. And if she doesn't, then she'll make up stories, hi, about what she thinks is going on. And of course, knowing the number two, always looking for trouble, that means she's looking for trouble. So I really have no idea what's going on, but what it does is it takes the pressure off of me. I can actually stay in my own space, my own rhythm, my own state of mind. And I can also realize that, you know, all kinds of things could be going on on the other side. And what if, what if the universe is operating in everyone's best intentions by letting time sort out these uh, things that are going on. So that's what I choose to believe. So if, you don't, if you're in a situation like this and, and you're waiting for somebody and it's not happening, I think the best thing to do is just take, uh, take your mind off of it, which is what I do, come down to the beach and do my beach walks. And don't think about it, don't worry about it, trust that uh, something else I've talked about before. If it's meant to be, there's nothing I can do to stop it. And if it's not meant to be, oh, well, there's all kind of parties today then there's nothing I can do to make it happen, you know. And, and of course, we don't know the answer to that until we get to the end of the other side of whatever it is, so. Anyway, if you'd like to Skype, the number is uh, Roxanne Darling. Come here, Lex. If you'd like to call, the number is 949-544-1456, and email is beachwalks at gmail.com. And I've started a new process here where if you'd like to submit a beach walks, ah, Lexi's toy just got stolen. If you'd like to submit a beach walks episode, I'd love to have some guest, guest shows. So um, I've got information on the website. I'll include it in the post. So you can check that out if you're interested in that. Yeah, it's the beginning of the month. You can vote for us at Podcast Alley. And whoa, <laughs> a little, uh, a lot of activity going on here at the beach. Aloha, everybody. Have a great one. Where's your toy, Lexi? He stole it again. Hey, come on. Hey, stop that. Hey, come here. Hi, how are you today? Good, how are you doing? Every Good. Good. I know, it's a great toy. It's a great toy. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, ready? Here we go. for Heidi over in the UK. Sorry I missed your call the other day Heidi but I thought I would sing you a song. There was a little turtle his name was Tiny Tim they put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim he drank up all the water he ate a bar of soap now he's sick in bed with the bubbles in his throat. <coughs> Bye Heidi.